Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders. Welcome back to my channel. This is Polo and today uh, I am very happy because we're going to be having a close look at the full collection of uh, Palace Pet dolls. Um, there are like uh, five princess dolls in total and I believe they were released by Disney Store in 2015. I think... Um, and the reason I actually was uh, so drawn to ha to to them is that um, they were the first, I think, uh, princess dolls with the whole like uh, super articulated body, um, and that is articulation on the ankle, knees, uh, elbow, wrist, uh, shoulder. I mean, super articulated, and uh, and I find them really cute as well. I wasn't too much into the pets. And I've always been feeling like uh, maybe I should get rid of them. But um, in a way, they're super cute and adorable. And um, so I've kept them. Um, and now it's time to um, to share with you the whole collection. <laughs> uh, so in this collection, we have Cinderella, Belle, Jasmine, Rapunzel and Ariel. And... Um, and they're super beautiful, actually. I love their, the outfits that they've chosen. Uh, for Cinderella, they've gone for a darker um, uh, shade of blue, or what we used to. She's got very light platinum uh, hair, and the hair band is actually almost white, as opposed to blue. Um, like most of the time, and then um, the the central part, the bodies is actually um, dark, dark blue with glitter, as well as the two side panels. And then there is this iridescent organza material for these leaves and for these like um, features around the skirt. It isn't like the puffier, like it isn't the biggest gown that we've seen for her. It's quite triangular and it isn't that big, but she's looking so cute and adorable. I love her. I love her so much. Um, oh, and she's got um, very light blue earrings too. And okay. And then we start with this. And this is like, well, I don't know much about the pets as such as I'm, I'm just being like truly honest. Uh, the reason I got them is it was because I love the dolls and I love the articulation. But I know that after this, they released also figurine sets and uh, things like that. And there's also like a series that you can actually watch on YouTube uh, and with a few seasons. <laughs> and uh, and, and so these pets are actually introduced. They have names and everything. Uh, this is Cinderella's one. They're very high quality. Uh, they're very, very heavy. And uh, it's a puppy. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's adorable. And then it has like a fluff, um, a fluffy tail with, um, um, I mean, it can be posed because it has like a, a little armature kind of thing. Um, and then glitter all around and obviously it's wearing this super cute tiara and um is that a tutu i really don't know but it's so cute again um it's white and blue it goes very well with cinderella and then this also came with the little uh bow for the pet in particular and this is the one for cinderella and here we can see the glass lipper. On the other side, there is a, a ribbon in pink with a heart in the middle. And then we also got a brush for the pet. I mean, for like the tail, because all of them uh, got a little tail. Um, and then it has the same feature, like with the um, with the glass uh, shoe. And now we move to Belle. And uh, wow, I love this bell. I don't know. I actually, I mean, because one of the things I like most about these uh, dolls, and I, I, I always just like comparing um, not only the, the faces, but also how they've um, executed the uh, the face painting as for the eyebrows, for example, I found out like I was loving this Ariel so very much. And I was like, but what is different? And then I was comparing with like, for example, one other like classic bar, um, sorry, Ariel from around the time. And it is that um, 
the one from the uh, palace pads has a, a thicker eyebrow that to me looks much more natural in a way and I love it and it's a bit of a change and as you can see this one is only articulated like um, on the uh, top part of the body but not the bottom it's just the bend and snap knee knees and um and then pointy toes um but this one I, I forgot to show you okay so um like for example for um yeah for cinderella you would have this articulation as well as this and they started using like flats so it's kind of weird because the glass slipper is actually a flat shoe but that's cool but i'm loving this articulation really it isn't quite as um the um ballet ones because the ballet ones also have an added articulation around here but it's just super articulated and that is what i love about this specific line um so here we have Belle and I love Belle because um, I think that this dress is quite cool. I mean, it has enough uh, volume, I would say, definitely more than Cinderella. Uh, let's see. And then it has this little piece of organza going on and it, it's really kind of... Um, it's very true to the to the animation. I think in the animation it was even bigger, uh, but it's been one of the times that they've gotten closer to it and then i also love the fact that she's wearing the high um gloves as well and then well same articulation <laughs> i mean um as they have so much articulation you might need to use a stand uh because otherwise they might get weird positions standing up and this is her pet which i believe it's a uh, what is it i don't know because could it be a cat I guess, because I know that for Ariel, it's a cat. I think it's a cat. Um, and it's very cute as well. It's pink. It's got this uh, rose tiara. It's got this fluffy uh, tail in like yellow and pink color. And oh, it is, it is in a tutu. It's like a ribbon. It's a ribbon, this thingy around here. And then it has a braid all, all sculpted. And so they all have like a little ribbon around um the tail that is so cute i think this one is a ribbon to know i don't know i think it is yeah it's it's uh, i don't know it's a bit chunky for that one so and then here we have the bowl for um the pet for bell and then this one has the rose and the um, okay and the ribbon in red and the little um, comb or brush for for the tail. <laughs> so, and now next, well, and I love this bell. I mean, I think she looks gorgeous. She's got a bit of gel and just in a roll. Um, and I've never touched it. Um, though I'm planning to redress her using one of my favorite uh, dresses as well. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to be trying the... Um, the 2020 and 2021 fashion packs or accessory packs on these ones as well because as, as they have super articulated bodies they will be like the perfect uh princess dolls for pictures and stuff um so so you will see them again now we move to jasmine and jasmine is just so adorable as well she's been stored for so long in like with the hair like <laughs> or in the bag that i it really it should be conditioned a little bit but she's looking so cool she's got the jam right there she's got the earrings that actually can detach and and the um, necklace that are metallic are metallic no they're plastic but um they have like a metallic kind of feeling to it. It's heavy. Um, and then again, she's super articulated and she's having um, her signature um, yeah, outfit with this uh, sheer um, all around kind of overskirt. And then this was the pet for, uh, for Jasmine, which is interesting because <laughs> uh, one would expect to be like Raja or something but no they chose um, these super cute elephant and uh, for some reason apparently I have 
lost like the little bowl and the brush for him uh but it's just super cute and adorable and yeah all the pets are cute so that's why i haven't um i haven't uh got rid of them <laughs> as for now and i think i will keep them and then here we have rapunzel i love this rapunzel so much i think that her face is just super innocent and um and super true to the animation and um i don't know i remember when i got her she was my favorite rapunzel at the time and i also love the outfit um at Rapunzel, she's uh, she got the little horse, and it's super it's super cute because the horse has this braid as well, same as um, the braid for the um, Belsa's pet, and then uh, it's got a really long tail with uh, um, tinsel and yeah, gold and blonde hair as well, and it's super cute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you. Uh, up close. I mean, she's super beautiful. Let me see. She's just super beautiful. I love her so much. And then the details uh, right over here. It, it's got lace. It's got uh, like this flower pattern. Um, I mean, I, I, I love this outfit, actually. I think it's very, very close to the actual one. And then it's got these two, um, this sheer um, see-through material. And then this one over here. And here you can see the articulation. So there's articulation on the knee, ankle. That is just super, super amazing. And then she has this lovely braid that is super long. I think it's the longest. I think this braid is longer than the one from the holiday um, Rapunzel that we've uh, got this year, actually. I think it's um, slightly longer than that. And it's super soft um, and it's leaning towards the other side of the head and i was planning to use all the different flowers that i have from the um her play uh princess dolls on it so i could decorate it and i will probably do that before i change her into the fashion pack and then here um last but not least we have gorgeous ariel which again i said i love so very much she's got super really nice hair as well and um, I'm loving her face, the eyebrows, the little, like, almost like giggle. <laughs> and then look at how beautiful, vibrant, super thick and wavy it's her, um, her hair is. And then she's wearing these, like, um, um, pink dress that we, that we're not given a lot of the times i mean I, I believe it's the same dress or very very similar to the one from kiss the girl um and this is the one i have two other dresses that are like over the top that i love and i will be sharing uh with you i'm going to be using other aerial dolls that i have and i will probably make a video just for that so you can see the differences of all the aerial dresses um that i do have um because there have been many different versions um, of the years. So here she is. And and here we have the uh, little pet. She's so cute. I'm, I'm loving this line, seriously. Um, I'm missing uh, Princess's hair that I would have loved uh, to be included. Uh, but for, I mean, luckily we are getting other lines and, and other princes uh, such as Tiana is being included and, and I'm so happy about that because as for now this was like the ones that we got aside from the designer fairy tale which also have um, a lot of articulation uh, these were the, the basic princes uh, with most articulation uh, and now we have uh, also Aurora from the ballet one and the ballerina Tiana as well. That, so that's super cool. Um, so this is the pet. It's a kitty cat. Um, and it's like orangey red. Or yeah, like I guess it's, it's trying to be like close to the color of, of her hair. And it's just adorable. So again, these pets actually have names and everything. Uh, but I, 
I don't know them, but um, if you if you feel interested about it, you could just search, look out for it and you'll find it. And I might want to watch the the series. I don't know when I have a break. Um, I just uh, really think that this line is just super adorable. Then we're getting these really nice uh, dolls with these really nice gowns and lots of articulation. So to me, it was totally worth it to collect it all. And uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, you can give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for uh, the upcoming videos because I have so much more to share. Let me know what, who's your favorite princess, uh, who uh, you would have liked to see in this collection that is not present here. Um, I don't know. I would love to know um, what you think about it. And for now, I hope you all stay safe and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.